Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to do two looks, one palette using the Juvia's Place Afrique palette. My goal for this was to use every single shade in two looks and I did it. I used half for one look and half for the other look. This is the second look I came out with. It's actually pretty. I'm like, I never really plan out my looks. I just have an idea of what colors I want to use and then this turns out and I absolutely love it. So anyway, you're here to see two looks on palette. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to start out with the orange shade. We're going to go ahead and put that in our crease. The next shade I want to do is this blue one. I'm not even going to try to pronounce these names. So I'm going to put this on the outer V and then bring it into the crease. Now, as you guys can see, I'm doing this super lightly because these uh, shadows are so pigmented. So look at that, my goodness. Now I'm going to go into this one right here, which is like a greenish blue, which is called Togo. That one I can say, and I'm not going to wet it. I'm just going to put it right on my lid. build up some of that blue again. A little bit of the orange. <laughs> For the lower lash line, I'm going to go into Niger, which is this green one right here. And then last but not least, inner corner is Aya, which is this yellow. For the waterline, I'm going to use navy blue. I'm going to do wing liner, lashes, mascara, and then I'll come back and do the rest of the face with you guys. Okay, so this is what the look looks like without anything else. So we are going to do blush. I'm going to use that cashew multi-stick from Bite Beauty. As you guys know, I'm trying to pan it and trying to use it as much as I can whenever I can so it won't go bad. So we're going to put this on our cheeks. For highlighter, I've been using this pigment from Bare Minerals in Sunshine. I would tilt it over to show you guys, but it has no sifter. So what I do is just dip a little bit in there, swirl it around, and it is one of the most beautiful highlights. I love this and it lasts all day for an eye pigment <gasps> multitasking at its best for lips I'm gonna use this um, bare minerals nude thing they're like a nude line that they had out I think they have one out for the holidays this year this is in Queen it's like a deep color it's shiny but I love it It's very ballsy of me to wear this lip color without any lip liner, but oh, I love it. So anyway, this is look number one, and now we're gonna go with look number two using the other shades that I have not touched yet. 
Okay guys, so we're here to do look number two using the Juvia's Place A Freak palette. I do wanna apologize before I start this tutorial. My eye is red. That's what happens when I am extremely tired and my eye starts to feel it. So I don't know if you guys have been following me on my Insta stories, but we've been doing a lot of late nights at the new house, trying to paint, trying to help the drywall guy, trying to speed things up so we can get into this house quicker. So. I've been having at most five and a half to six hours of sleep each night, so I'm a bit tired. But I'm trying to pre-film a bunch so you guys don't miss out, you know, and have videos while I am moving at the time. So I'm pre-filming like a mad woman. So let's get back to what you're here for. I'm gonna use uh, this shade right here, this one, and this one right here. These two as my transition shade. I'm gonna start out with the lighter one. And I'm trying to use, um, I'm trying to use shadows that I, I didn't use in the first one, in the first look. This is super light. My poor eyeball. I normally put eye drops on my eyes, but I don't have them with me. All right, so I'm gonna go into this blue shade right here, and it is not a matte, but I'm gonna use it as an outer V shade, just to see how that goes. I'm gonna mix it with this burgundy shade right here. That made the eyeshadow turn purple, which is what my intentions were. For the lid, I'm gonna go with the gold one here. I haven't done a gold look, and this looks like it's very intense. I'm just gonna blend these together with no additional product. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go with this burgundy shade. I am gonna blend it out a little bit with the matte burgundy in here. Last but not least, I'm gonna use this shade right here as my inner corner. Purple liner to line my waterline. I don't think I'm gonna do a wing liner with this look and I'm just gonna put on my lashes and then I'll come back and we can finish the rest of the face. Okay, so I have everything done on my eyes. Now I'm gonna go do my cheeks and for my cheeks, I'm gonna use Indecent Proposal by uh, Bare Minerals. It is a permanent um, blush. This is just in a palette form that I have it in here. This one right here. It's like a mauve Well, I don't know if they have it in their new line though. This was in their old line, so don't quote me on that. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna use my Stila Kitten Highlighter. I'm just gonna mix both of these together. One of my favorites. Now for lips, I normally don't go for a full nude, but I'm gonna try it. This is called Sex Pop from Bare Minerals, so let's try it. I don't know, kinda feel like that's really nude. It's a little too nude, so I'm gonna add my Bite Beauty Cashew Multi-Stick. Kinda make it a little bit more Thank you. 
So this is the second look guys. I basically used every single shade in this palette for two different looks. So I kind of, I really liked how both of them ended up turning out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link this palette down in the description box if you are interested in it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, any requests for any other two looks one palette, please leave them down in the comment section. I will be more than happy to do that for you guys. And that's it guys. I will catch you guys again in a future video. Don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys. Thank you.